Hey guys, Lightchain here. Thank you for checking out this video. Now, I have a small confession to make. I don't know how to ride a unicycle. I know, it's crazy. It's something that I've always wanted to do, but just can't do it. But through the magic of video games, I can actually get a chance to do so. So today, I'm going to see if Uni Rally is worth it. Uni Rally was released in 1994 on the Super Nintendo. If you live in America though, the game is called Uni Races. I'm gonna keep with Uni Rally because that's how I know it best. This game was made by a company called DMA who have quite an interesting history to them. They made the original Lemmings in 1991, which is a game that took the world by storm. They are also the same people that made the original Grand Theft Auto game in 1997. Yeah, I bet you didn't know that the people that made GTA also made Lemmings and a game about a racing unicycle. DMA eventually was bought and renamed into Rockstar Studios, which is who they are to this day. This game was also hit with controversy and was part of a lawsuit. Yeah, a game with racing unicycles as part of a lawsuit. So you know Pixar, the people that made Toy Story, The Incredibles, WALL-E. Well, they sued DMA for copying the design and concept of their unicycle in the short film Red's Dream. And the thing is, they won! After which the game stopped being produced and the last stock was sold, so it's unlikely that we'll see a re-release of this game again. Pixar honestly thought that they owned any computer generated concept because they did it first, but honestly how can you do much else to a unicycle to make it different? Of course they would look similar, it's so stupid. The reason I bring up all this history is because Uni Rally doesn't have a story. You play as a unicycle and you race and perform stunts just for the chance to win a gold medal. That's it. Uni Rally is a very unique racing game on the Super Nintendo. In fact, I think it's just a unique racing game in the history of gaming. Where else can you have a high energy, like really fast paced racing game where you control a unicycle? A unicycle of all the things that they could possibly have picked. That's, that's strange. Uh, the controls of this game are also fairly simple. You have a directional pad to control your direction, you have an accelerate button and you have a jump button, and the rest of the buttons do tricks. These tricks, or stunts as they're called in the game, if you land them successfully, you get a speed boost, so they are very important to master and very important to use throughout your play. The game features nine tours and each of them has five tracks. That's 45 levels in total. The tracks get more difficult as the tours go on and the opponents get harder. Each tour will have two races, which is a head-to-head -head battle against a computer to the finish line. They also have two circuits, which is more traditional, where you will do laps around a circuit. <laughs> Go figure. Lastly, there is one stunt level. These all look different, but have big jumps, and the goal is to do as many tricks as you can in order to score points. The more varied and complex your stunts are, the more points that they will be worth. Completing any of these levels will get your name on the leaderboard, and this is important because from here you can see what the time or the score is for the gold medal. And if you collect every single gold medal of the game, you will unlock that ninth and final tour. That is no easy thing to do either. It will require quite a bit of mastery over the trick and stunt system. It will require you memorizing all the tracks and because each one of them is unique, you're going to have to memorize a lot of them and just playing through them constantly in order to get better and to get the desired time or the desired score. It is going to be a lot of work just to unlock that final cup. And that final tour is the craziest one of the bunch. It has the hardest levels and even a special opponent, the anti-uni, who messes up your screen. Funny and annoying. Aside from that though, there really isn't much else to the game. There aren't any further unlockables or any gold to go after, which can lead to a bit more of a shallow experience. Getting that 100% gives you a fake newspaper and a creepy image of those creators. Ugh. Not the best reward for the time needed in my opinion. But this game does have a two player mode. Two player mode is exactly how it sounds. You and a friend sit next to each other and you both play and level. It's just a split screen and you can pick whichever level that you have unlocked so far. And they are so much fun. And this is where I had the most enjoyment out of the game. Racing head to head against somebody is so exhilarating because of that high energy and because of the fact that it's just, it's skill based. There are no power ups in this uh, game. So it's all skill. Except for a little, a little thing. 
This game has heavy rubber banding, which I never noticed until I played two-player mode when I was an adult. So rubber banding means that if one person gets too far ahead, then the game slows them down to make it a bit more fair to the person lagging behind. This makes for some more exciting games when it's neck and neck because you don't know who's going to win. And it also helps with uh, some of the fairness. If somebody has really, really big gap because they're really skilled, it'll slow them down and give the person that's coming second at least a chance to come first. I personally think rubber banding is very annoying because if you are really skilled and you are close together in like in terms of skill, that rubber banding will literally mean if you win or not. There is a race that I've done, which I have on the screen now, where my friend and I, we just did acceleration. We did not do any tricks or anything, and we just watch ourselves, you know, rubber banding past each other, and it was literally the game's choice of who was going to win. You may have noticed the graphics for this game, and while they are not ugly, they aren't anything amazing either. Your unicycle looks fine, and it feels like it has some personality to it, which is a bonus. The tracks are all tubes with different different colors and the colors indicating what is coming up in the level. I never figured these out for the most part. I think orange is like a trap, but I can't even remember. <laughs> the backgrounds, while they are clean, they aren't anything special either. That said, there is very little clutter on the screen, which is something of a plus. The menus are also really boring as well, and I don't know why they use these weird drawings to show off the different tours that you can play. Honestly, something else could have been done and just made it look a little bit nicer. The music though, oh man, it's all high energy with distorted guitar sounds. They all have a similar feel and sound to them, but man, they really get you in the mood to race with that high energy. It's just like, dun, 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 dun. it's so much fun. Oh. In my opinion, I think that Uni Rally is worth it. It is such a fun game to play, <laughs> you have no idea. The, uh, the the high energy, the craziness of the tracks is just incredible. You'll be doing flips, you'll be doing turns, all these like upside downs and all these different directions. It's just crazy. Uh, while the graphics may not be the best in the game, I think that the tracks and the fact that you have 45 different levels, I think that it is all so much fun with that really crazy <laughs> distorted guitar sound. And the fact that it has two player, which is the best absolute best part of this game it just more than makes up for it i think that this is a lot of fun and you should definitely go and play it and just play it with a friend go get a friend and play it that that's the best way to experience this so guys tell me what you thought about uni rally or should i call it uni races most of my audience is from the u.s so fun fact <laughs> did you like it did you hate it did you play it in two-player mode and have an absolute blast like I did? Did you ever get to that secret ninth cup? Because I didn't know it existed until I was an adult and I went back and played the game and it went, whoa, there's nine? Because I only ever thought there was eight. So that was a lot of fun. Uh, so guys, tell me what you thought in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all that fun social stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Beat that opponent. Opponent. Damn it. What's an opponent? It's an annoying word. That's that's what that is. It's a shame that uh, Pixar sued them and destroyed any future properties or ideas for Uni Rally. 